Hello and thank you for watching my tutorial on how to uh, automate data in Excel using GoalSeek. Uh, GoalSeek is a really, really handy tool and it's super easy to use. It's uh, one of my favorites. And uh, so I might just jump into Excel here and get straight into it. So you can see I've got pretty a pretty basic formula here. We've got an initial investment, an interest rate, and uh, our timer, our years invested. And then we've got our future value here of uh, 12,500 and you can see that is just the simple future value uh, formula. I won't run through that but it's pretty straightforward. So basically with GoalSeek what we can do is let's say we wanted to invest $10,000 for three years but we want to, uh, a future value of $15,000 and what we can do is come over here to the uh, data tab and go up to data uh, what if analysis just above forecast and we want to select goal seek and goal seek can actually uh, tell us what interest rate we need to earn to earn our fifteen thousand dollars after three years so we've got three options here it's super easy to use so first one we want to set cell so just click on the cell you want to set and I want the future value which is c7 to value uh, I want fifteen thousand dollars and then here we can select the cell we want to change out of the three up the top here. So I want to change the interest rate. And it'll do the calculation for us and you can see it spit out 14%. Uh, so uh, if we invest $10,000 over three years earning 14%, we'll generate a future value of uh, $15,000. We can add some more decimal places over here in the home tab. Uh, increase decimal, click that a few times, so 14.47%. Now, if I just undo this, also works if we want to change our, our time or our years invested. So let's say we know we're going to earn a stable 5% on our $10,000 investment, but we want to find out how many years it will take to uh, earn let's say a $13,000 future value. So again, if we come back up to data, what if analysis, goal seek, we want to set cell again, the future value, C7, to value, what did I say, $13,000, by changing this time cell, C5. Hit OK, it'll crunch the numbers and give us a lot of decimal places. Basically, we need to invest our $10,000 at 5% for just over five years to earn our $13,000. So you can see how this is such a handy tool and it can be used for so many different examples. Uh, I've got another one here, just a pretty simple uh, profit and loss. We've got sales, cost of sales, profit, some expenses, and then our total net profit down the bottom. And you can see I've got some formulas in here. The cost of sales is a function of the sales. We got gross profit, and then we minus our expenses from our gross profit. Pretty straightforward. But anyway, the point of this is to show you what we can do with our goal seek. So let's say this is our profit and loss. We want a net profit of $15,000. And we want to know how much we have to get in sales to earn this $15,000 profit. So again, data, what if analysis, goal seek. We want to set sell, so we want to set our net profit to value $15,000 by changing sales, which is C3. All right, so looks like we need $130,000 in sales to reach our net profit of $15,000. So hopefully you see how easy and uh, useful GoalSeek is and I hope, it, hope you all put it to good use and I thank you for watching. See you later.